All right, you guys, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad, and uh, this hour we are going to be uh, working on our reading and pronunciation as we read through a short story. Now, this short story is entitled um, Blurred Vision. Okay, and it's uh, located in, at uh, one of my uh, favorite uh, websites. Uh, story star you can get a whole bunch of different stories uh, this is uh, this is a great place to uh, to hang out and uh, and take a look at different stories if you have 10 minutes 15 minutes uh, 30 minutes an hour okay you can go there and you can look up different types of stories that you can read uh, most of them are are fairly short um, and you can just practice your reading and practice reading out loud that would uh, definitely be a good thing for uh, for new uh, or so for beginning uh, um, English speakers to do to practice your pronunciation. I know that's what I did when I was learning Spanish. I practiced reading, reading out loud, so I could perfect my pronunciation. All right, you guys, welcome so to class. The uh, the link is in the chat box right now. Go ahead and open that up, and uh, let's see who we have in class so far. Andrew, how you doing? Hello, Chad. Not so bad. Not so bad. Hi, teacher. Awesome. Uh, Great. Uh, how and Ruth, okay, Ruth, so how are, how are you doing? Ruth, how you doing? All right. How about? Let's see here. We have Michael. Michael, yes, how are hi. you? Yes. Hi. I'm doing very well. How are you? Great. Michael, where are you from? I am from Republic of Moldova. You know me by other name, so... Igor. Yeah, I changed my name. <laughs> this is my new name. That's what I was, name. Yeah, that's what I was going to... Uh, I was going to say, I was like, you sound familiar. You sound very <laughs> familiar. So, very good. I'm glad uh, I'm glad it's the, the same person, because I, I was going to say, you know, Michael, you sound like a friend of mine that's from Moldova as well. It could be that all you guys have the same accent, but uh, anyway, very cool. Welcome to have you here, yeah. Igor. Thank you. Uh, do you Thank now, do you want to go by Michael or uh, yeah, Michael? Would you rather go by Michael? Okay. All right, this is that. my new Berlin name. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Uh, let's see. Dennis. Dennis, how are you? Uh, hello, Chad. I'm okay. Awesome. Good, good to have you here. And we also have Amparo. Welcome to class. Hello. Um, now, uh, Ruth, uh, what you need to do is um, exit out of the other Verbling website that you have. Um, that's why, excuse me, that's why you are uh, hearing an echo. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's what's going on. Okay, all right, you guys. Uh, let's go ahead and and get started. Uh, the link to class is in the chat box. Uh, go ahead and and open that up. And let's see. Awesome. Okay, uh, we're going to start over on the uh, left hand side with Amparo. And Amparo, please read the first three paragraphs. Oh, okay. Until airplanes? Uh, until grass, or sorry, gassed airplanes, yes. Okay. I stared dreamily through the clouded window and the airplane parked outside. She appeared as a blurred vision through the smoke coated paints of the old administration building hallway. She was red, she was shiny, she was mine. Well, almost mine. The fabric covered airplane, a 65 horsepower Taylor Craft L2, sat tied down on the grass, listening in the early November sun as I went whistling about my shores, anxious for the end of day to arrive. Its owners had instructed me to rent it out as much as possible to keep it clean and shiny with the uh, uh, tires always air up and to fly it as much as I liked. Um, sure enough, 
the hand lettered for sale sign posted in the rear window. A month earlier, honorable discharge in hand, I have I had left the relative security of four years active duty with the with the US Air Force to try my luck in the unknown free enterprise system. Taking a job managing the Boston Field Airport for forty dollars per week. A room in the in the administration building had been thrown in with the deal so I could leave there free. I went to sleep airplanes. Drained airplanes, woke up airplanes, pushed and pulled and washed and gazed airplanes. Okay, nice job. <clears throat> um, let's, uh, let's take a look at some words here. First up is the word gassed. Instead of gazed, gassed Gas. airplanes. Okay. All right, we use that to, to fill up. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to gas my car. Okay, or gas up my car. Okay, same type of thing, gassed airplanes. That means filling airplanes up with gas. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, this word right here yeah. is earlier. Instead of earlier, er, earlier. Earlier. Good. Nice job. Okay. Next word is anxious. Ink. Anxious. 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 Okay. Nice job. And let's practice the word chores right here with that ch. Siege. Yep, chores. Chores. There you go. Much better. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Amparo. Thanks. All right, let's go to Andrew. And also, uh, welcome to class, Odku. Good to have you here. Um, Andrew, let me have you uh, continue and read the next, uh, let's see, uh, next four paragraphs down to uh, vice versa. Okay, go ahead. Okay. In my spare time, I read about airplanes. I watched airplanes take off and land and crowd over airplanes. The sound in my ears was airplanes. Other, other pilots hung around the airport. With them, I talked airplanes. The year was 1959. Al Alaska had become the 49th United States state in January followed by Hawaii seven months later. The NS Savannah, world's first nuclear-powered merchant vessel, had just sailed from Groton, Connecticut. That summer, the blustery Russian Premier Nikita Khrushchev paid an unprecedented visit to the United States shores. Under guidance of President Duent D. Eisenhower, the nation had been wallowing in the worst recession since the crash of 1929. Those of us having jobs felt lucky indeed. Licking the job you held made it even better. Being 21 years of age, I allowed, <coughs> I allowed the world to solve its own problems. I was busy learning all I could about airplanes. My airport was a small one was a small one located in central Alabama. Its two runways, one, one paved and other grass covered, served the cotton, the cotton mill community of Bussellville, providing shelter for the nine aircraft based there. Tall pines surrounded both runways, making the ends of the, of the north-south paved runway, invisible from the east-west grass strip and vice versa. Okay, nice job. Let's check out some words. First up, we have the word invisible. You had said invisible. This is invis, invisible. Invis <clears throat> invisible, invisible. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Nice job. Let's try another V word right here. The word is providing, providing. Providing, providing. There you go. Awesome. Nice job. Okay. Um, all right. Let's go to uh, covered. Okay. Instead of saying co covered, it is ca covered. Covered. Excellent. Okay. Um, next up is the word learn. Learning, learning. Uh-oh. 
Oh, right here. Okay. Instead of le, 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 learning, le, it's lur, mm -hmm. learning. Learning. Okay, one more time. Give me an er sound. Lur, learning. Er, uh, learning. There you go. Good, good. Uh, let's go to the word those. Give me an o those. sound there. Those. 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 Awesome. Nice job. Okay. Thank you, uh, yep, everything else is good. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Let's go to uh, Dennis. All right, Dennis, uh, please continue on the paragraph that starts with the large white airport. And I'll have you read down to um, uh, sure the throttle was closed. Okay. Okay. The large white airport administration building and the huge wooden hangar has been constructed as a Depression Era Public Works project in the 1930s. The main building set back about 50 years from the runway intersection, and the old hangar loomed a thousand feet to the east, but building generally occupying the northeast quadrant of the field. October had delivered a full month of Indian summer. November brought the first serious change of season weather. Cold fronts marched across the state in waves. At each front, uh, uh, as each front approached, the sky dark, darkened, the wind picked up, blowing steadily from the east. Rain, will fa rain would fall for a few hours, then stop abruptly, and the wind suck shifted clockwise, filling costly from colder air, pushing in from the northwest. Remaining clouds moved rapidly southeastward, leaving clear cold blustery air behind. Two days later the wind died down, the ground dried, and flying again became a pleasure. It was on such an evening that I waved goodbye to my last customer, looked the office, and then made for the waiting L2. Squatting beneath the engine coal, I drained the fuel bowl and looked for signs of oil leaks. Finding none, I stood up and slunk red gas from my fingers. I opened the side compartment door and checked the engine oil level. Minutes later, pre-flight inspection complete, I checked to be sure the max switch was on the off position and made sure that the uh, throttle was closed. Okay, <clears throat> very good job. Let's uh, let's check out. Uh, about five words here, okay? First up, we have the word none. Okay, you had said known, known, so adding an own sound to it. The word is na, none. Mm -hmm. uh, none. Okay, good. Let's go to the word locked. Give me an aw sound there. Locked. Locked. Excellent. Okay, uh, let's go to uh, cold fronts. Uh, right here. So those two words together. We have an O and A, ah, fra, front, sorry, so O and fra. So cold fronts. Try that. Cold fronts. There you go. Nice job. Um, very good job with the word would here. Okay, we had a tricky one that snuck out of nowhere. Okay, the word mm -hmm. is wooden, wooden hanger. Yeah, wooden hanger. There you go. Uh, one more time. Wooden hanger. Wooden hanger. Hanger. Good. Wooden hanger. Yeah. Good. Nice. All right. Last word is the word old instead of old. Old. Mm -hmm. uh, old. Okay. The old hanger. Try that. The old hanger. The old hanger. Good. Nice job. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go to my next reader. And this is for John. How you doing, John? Hi, teacher. Hi there. Uh, looks we've also got Julissa in. Uh, welcome to class, Julissa. Thank you. Hello, Chad. Hi. I, I'm doing great. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Okay, John. Uh, let me have you continue here, uh, please. From in those days, okay. And I'll have you read down to. Uh, about half of this third 
uh, third paragraph, down to main tires, okay? So in those days, down to the front of the main tires, please. Okay, teacher. In those days, propping of our plan was no more unusual than holding a door for a lady. Pilot shake this courtesy with no more throne they, than they would have in offering someone a match. However, working alone, a pilot died well to see that his ship was properly secured to the ground before he stood in front of with intention on his wing, his wing its prop. Throttle position was critical during the starting phase. A throttle show it open to for a wall idle could allow the engine to rev dangerously, perhaps causing the ship to jump. Here wheel clock and speed across the apart subject only to the ba vagaries of wind and terrain. terrain. Co complacency is this activity was the unholy partner of our own safely record, securing the tie with the tie down, a tie down rope, a always best, the safest method when propping a ship soul. The old pro knew this. By I want you are working alone. Approved the world blood, the two blooded wouldn't probe through their whole revolution and left a few degrees degrees short of a compression stroke. Walking sure forted on the cop coptit and leaned it and leaned it good on the magneto switch and bumped the throttle of the idle stop. I took a fast look around when wedged the wheel clocks thicker under the front of the main tires. Okay, nice job. Uh, let's take a look at some words here, John. Uh, first up, we have the word throttle. Instead of throttle, thra, throttle. Throttle. Okay, one more time. Throttle, throttle. Throttle, throttle. Okay. okay, much better with that ah sound, okay. Let's go to the word leaned. So we're going to end with an ed ending. I leaned in. I leaned in. Okay, one more time. I leaned in. I leaned in. Good. Okay, let's go to the words uh, two bladed wooden prop. Two bladed wooden prop. Two bladed wooden prop. Good, good. Nice job. Okay, okay. let's go to the word. Uh, pra, uh, let's see, it's partner. Uh, where is partner at? Okay, right here. Partner, partner. 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 Good, one more time. Per partner. Partner. Nice job. Okay, and this word here is unholy. 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 Good, nice job. Let's go to vagaries. Right here, vagaries. Vagaries. Okay, one more time. Vagar, vagaries. Vagaries. Excellent. Okay. We've got a nice big one here. This word is dangerously. Dangerous. Dangerously. Dangerously. Good. Okay. Nice job. Uh, let's go to secured. Right here. Secured. Secured. One more time. Secured. Secured. All right. And we have the word ship. Okay. We're going to use the short I sound instead of sheep. It is ship. Ship. Okay, one more time. Ship. Ship. Excellent. Okay, and we have the word thought. This gives us an O, or the O-U-G-H makes an ah sound. Thought. Th thought. We want. We... Okay, thought? one more time. Thaw. Thought. 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 Good, good. Okay, and our last word here is this nice big one. Exchanged. 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 Good. One more time. Exchanged. Exchanged. Okay. Uh, and now here at the end, we don't want to say exchanged. Okay. okay. We only, we skip right to that D sound. Exchanged. 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 Okay. And closer. One more try. Exchanged. Exchanged. Okay. Very good. Now this uh, this uh, G ending with an E D is very difficult. Okay, yeah. so don't don't worry. <laughs> Keep working on it, and you'll definitely get it. Okay. Okay, teacher. Don't worry. Nice job. Let's go to Julissa. 
Um, oh, propping off. Uh, uh, Andrew, uh, so propping off. Okay, please. All right, works. Okay, all day today. All day today. Every time I press screen share and I turn it off, it would kick me out. So I'm going ah. So good. All right, it's working. Okay. So um, back in the old days, all right. So when they have the prop, someone would have to come up, reach up, and pull it down, right? And they would kickstart the the prop. Okay. So that's called propping off. Does that make sense, Andrew? No. <laughs> no. Okay, let me let me I show can, you a picture real quick. Mm -hmm. All right, let me show you a picture real quick. Okay, um, so okay, so propping off a plane. Oh, come on. Okay, so. Mm, they're not going to show me a good picture. All right, so this right here, this is the prop. Okay, you see that, Andrew? Yes. All right, so um, when planes first uh, first began, they didn't have a button to start it right off and have this the the uh, the prop spin around, and so someone would have to grab this part with their hands and twist it. Really fast. I got they it push now. It as fast yeah, they can. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I got it. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. called propping off. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right. Very good. Let's go to Julissa. Yeah. Okay. All right, Julissa, we are here at Stepping Up to the Nose. Uh, please finish off this paragraph. Read this one here and the next two small ones. Ending at Barely Quit Knocking. I can see the the beginning. Uh, you can't see the beginning here. Do I need to scroll down? Okay, now it's there. Okay. There you go. Okay. Stepping up to the nose, facing the airplane, I grasp the higher blade with both hands, lean forward, and pull down with all my strength. The engine cut on the first swing and immediately ripped up her RPM climbed faster and faster. I leaped out of the way, throwing out my arm. I managed to catch the right wing strut just as the ship jumped her chucks, hitting for parts unknown. I wrapped my, my arms together. My weight caused the pain to warp to the right as the angry buzz of her engine grew stronger each second. With my heels Dragging the ground, I fought my way toward the cockpit, pulling myself down the strut, hand over hand. Meanwhile, the L2, with a mind of her own, was dragging herself and me round and around in a mad little circle, working her way dangerously close to a corrugated metal marker outlining one corner of the runway intersection. An eternity seemed to pass. After twice almost losing my grip on the strut, I made it to the cockpit and reached inside just as my feet flew out from under me to pull the throttle lever back. The episode was over as quickly as it had begun, leaving a battered and much wiser jump pilot trembling in the cockpit. By the time I had taxied to the end of 3-5 and had completed the engine run up and checked the controls, my knees had barely quit knocking. Okay, excellent. Let's uh, check out some words. First up is throttle. 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 Yeah, one more time. Throttle. Throttle. Good, good. Nice job. Um, let's go to eternity right here. This word is eternity. Eternity. All right, nice. Okay, uh, let's go to uh, corrugated. Cora, corrugated. Corrugated. Good, one more time. Corrugated. 
corrugated. All right, nice. Okay, um, let's go to the word uh, heading uh, right here. Instead of heating, that word is heading. Heading. All right, excellent job. And last but not least, the word engine. Okay, the stress goes at the very beginning. Engine. 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 Yep, just like that. Okay, nice job. Very good. Thank you, Julissa. Okay, thank you. All right, let's go to Michael. Yeah. Okay, Michael, please continue reading, starting at reaching the end of the runway. Uh, in, uh, finish off the next uh, two paragraphs. Okay, so ending at uh, 300 feet above the airfield. Okay, uh, well, uh, it's not scrolled. Okay, just give it one second and it will, yeah. will uh, it'll no, catch up with itself. No, it's okay. Reaching right. the end of the runway, I slung the L2 around in a, a tight circle, squinting upward to check the traffic pattern for inbound uh, airplanes. I pushed the throttle all the way forward. We began rolling. Seconds later, the tail rose and we gathered speed against the gentle northwest breeze. I eased back on the stick, increased pressure on the right rudder, and watched the tops of the pine trees fall into, into the distance below. I'm accelerated and I climbed to 600 feet making a shallow banked 180 degree left turn turn i level off then begin my downing leg accelerating in level flight almost to cruising speed less than a minute passes uh, opposite to the touch touchdown zone i pull my throttle back to the idle stop uh, and uh, two turns off up elevator trim pull on full carb heat and hold the nose up maintaining uh, altitude and uh, holding her steady until reaching glide speed then I make a step banked uh, 90, 90 uh, degree plus uh, turn to the left looking anxiously beneath the wing as I roll level to spot the end of the runway. Ah, uh, there she there she is at about my 10 o'clock position. Now it's time to apply judgment. I concentrate and watch the end of the strip rise in the side window smelling the hot metal of the uh, engine along with a whiff of 80 octane from the not quite leaking single stroke primer pump mounted vertically just behind the throttle. When the when the feel, feel is right I began my turn to final rolling out about 300 feet above the airfield. All right, nice job. You had a couple of difficult paragraphs there. A lot of uh, a lot of uh, um, words describing how he was turning, but yeah. you said them very, very well. Okay, nice, nice job. Good job. No ed issues or anything like that. Really good job. Okay. Um, let's practice some uh, pronunciations here. Uh, let's try out the word three. Okay, three hundred. Try that. Three hundred. Good. Much better with that R. Okay, one more time. 300. 300. Nice. Good. Okay, let's go to the word pull. Um, let me find it real quick. All right, right here. Instead of pool, it is pull with an ul sound. Pull. Pull. Good, good. Nice job. Okay, um, let's go to the word rudder. Instead of uh, ruder, this is rudder. Rudder. Good. Now these are the uh, the flaps on the wings that move up and down. Okay, the right rudder. Okay, on the wings that moves up and down. It's a flap. 
Okay. okay. Uh, let's go to the word gathered. Okay. Give me that er sound right here. Gathered. Gathered. Good. One more time. Gathered. Gathered. Nice job. Let's go to our last word here. The word is inbound. Okay. So you had said inbound, putting the stress here. The stress needs to go at the very beginning. The word is inbound. 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 Good. Good. Nice job. All right. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Sure, let's go to Odku. Okay. All right, Odku, uh, please continue reading and, and read the next three paragraphs. So from uh oh to high, down to or go for another. Go ahead, Odku. Uh oh. Uh oh, too high. I lowered the left wing and at the right, rather to produce a forward slip. Now, descending toward the runway at the stepper angle without unracing air speed. I listened to the rushing sound, sounds of air, every tiny hole. Every narrow crack and opening to the outside act like a miniature pipe organ, each producing whatever not its sensation requires, from high pitched whiteness to low moans, and always the heat feel of commanding your, yourself and your airplane deliberately and skillfully toward your objective. I'm much closer to the ground now. I begin recovering from the forward slip while sensing the motion of ground objects as they grow larger and larger upon the one child, one shield. Steady now, I watch Marcus alongside the runway as they begin punching together like two strings of beads. I easy back on the stick, automatically pumping on aileron when one wing or other tips. Suddenly, I'm in never never land, the point where they begins to Seattle lace. She breaks her glade, flying just above the surface as I easy the stick back. The landing as a combination of timing field perception. The stick reaches full of trail just as she touches down in the three points landing. Three wheels contacting the pavement at the same time. Alert, alert on the rudder pedals. I guide her down the center line. We roll a couple hundred feet, slowing down. Decision time, stop now or go for another. Okay, nice job. Let's uh, let's take a look at some words here. Uh, first up is this very last word. I want to practice the th sound with you. Okay, old cool. The word is another. 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 Try another. that. Another. 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 Good. There you go. Getting that. Getting. Make sure. Making sure to get your tongue between your teeth. Yeah, that is another. Another. Okay. Uh, let's go to the word. Uh, good. Let's go to the word combination. Right there. Combination. 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 Excellent. Much. Excellent. Much better. Okay. Uh, let's go to the word glide. 
Okay, gli, glide. Try that. Glide. Glide. Okay, give me a D there at the end. Glide. 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 Good. Good. That's good. That's the D. Okay, nice job. Um, let's go to the word automatically. 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 There you go. There you go. Nice job. There you go. Good, good. Okay, uh, this next word here is ease. You had said easy. Okay, easy has a Y at the end. Uh, this has an E at the end. So this word is ease. Ease. Okay, ease. All right, very good. Ease. Nice. Okay, let's check out this word right here. This word is bun. Bunching. 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 All right, nice job. Okay, now we've got a tricky word because we've seen this word before and that sometimes wind can be pronounced it. wind, right? Uh, but in this, in this word, um, this is a, a piece of glass that blocks the wind. So this is actually a windshield. 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 Good, one more time. Yeah, that's it. Nice job. Good. Okay. Uh, let's go to uh, the word pitched. Okay. Here you had said pitched. Okay. The word is pitched. Try that. Pitched. Pitched. Excellent. Pitched. Okay. Good. Uh, let's go to the word angle. Uh, let's see. All right. So it's going to be steeper angle. Angle. Okay. Steeper angle. Steeper angle. Okay, stipper give me an E angle. sound. You're saying stip, stipper. It is sti, steeper, steeper angle. Steeper angle. Nice, excellent stipper job. Angle. Okay, thank you, Odku. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Odku. Great job. Okay, uh, let's go to Ruth. All right, Ruth, let me have you uh, continue here. All right, where it says pause. Pause. And Ruth. Let me have you uh, continue from there. And read down to a uh, 14-month overseas tour, please. Uh, yeah. Pause. I spent many happy hours flying the aircraft as often as possible. As winter progressed, tiny hours of air to time crept into my logbook. I became confident in my T-wheel flying abilities. After all, one huge radar smug, having 100 hours to total flying time without me shot behind him. The season changed. Spring announced herself with a spray of green grass here. The beginning flower the beginning flower about that. The rain, the ranging of the telephone disturbed the rainy, the rainy evening behind the counter nap. That's a felt. I jumped into the mud pits. Hey man, the boys cry on the other end. It's me. I'm out, come get me. It had been more than a year since since I had heard the voice, but I recognized it instantly. I looked at office, hopped into my old big, 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 and dropped Panama City, Florida, about 250 miles. There I pick up my best friend and all of our buddy who just had been dis discharged from the U.S. Air Force. Robert E. Perks managed to tell me all that he had done while in Okinawa for a year and out in the space of about 10 minutes. After all, I missed how many different kinds of BD could one catch during 
a 14 month overseas tour. Okay, uh, very good. Uh, let's practice uh, this last little bit. This is overseas tour. Overseas tour. Try overseas that. Overseas tour. Good, nice job. Okay, uh, let's check out some other words here. Uh, first up is half. Okay, so we do pronounce the H, but the L is silent. Okay, so half. the word is half. Half. Good, nice job. Okay, let's go to the word discharged. Uh, right here, discharged. Discharged. Good. Instead of discharge, using an E sound, D, it is D, short I, discharged. Discharged. All right, excellent. Okay, let's go to the word miles. Miles. Instead of miles, it is miles. <laughs> miles. There you go. Okay, um, this word here, uh, where did you go? John, John. Yeah, John. that's the one. That's the one. Okay, you had said John. Okay, uh, remember the uh, the Y in English. Okay, is pronounced by using or starting off with an E sound. We say E on, E on, E on. Yes, yes. Okay. Tell me and that. and yawn, yawn means when someone's so tired. Okay, that is to yawn. yawn. Oh. Okay, so when okay. someone's tired, they yawn. Okay, um, yeah. let's go to the word ringing. Right here, that word is ringing. Ringing. What's me ringing? The ring. Um, ring, ring, yeah, ring. When ring, ring, ring. Yeah, like when your um. cell phone rings. Okay, the doorbell rings. Ding, 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 ding. Right? Okay, okay that okay. would be ringing. Okay, um, now sprig, instead of spring, okay, that is not a misspelling of a word, that is sprig. Sprig, sprig. Okay, and that's a little piece of grass, usually uh, just a small piece, small piece of green grass, okay? Okay. Um, this, ha this word right here is mishap, okay? Miss I know it looks like the, the, S, the S and the H together. Okay, uh, mishap. What the, yes. what does that mean? Yes. Okay, that means accidents. Um, that mishap. mishap. Yeah, mishap. Mishap means accident. Uh, okay, teacher. Thanks. Okay, and then last word here is is progressed. As winter Pro progressed, instead of progressed, it is progressed. Progressed. Excellent. Yep, just like that. Progress. Very good. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Let's uh, let's keep going okay. here, and we ended on overseas tour. Uh, let's go to Amparo. All right, Amparo. Let me have you continue reading here, where it says uh, side note, uh, Bobby. Okay, and I'll have you read until I'll show you in the morning, please. Okay. Side note, Bobby, one day I hope you are reading this. Uh, standing just under my five foot eleven, Bobby was a well built, muscular young man having the dark good looks of his Italian forebears. Propelled by high intelligence, his sense of humor was boundless. When I told him I had become a pilot, he laughed. You are hallucinating, he said. Looking at me with level brown eyes, he took a pole mole from his pack, broke it in half, broken in half, then dropped the pieces into my hand. Here, he said, take two of these and call me in the morning. Yeah, okay, doctor. I snarled. I'll show you in the morning. Okay, very good. All right, nice job. Let's go to the word hallucinating. Okay, stress on the e. Hallucinating. 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 There you go. Okay, uh, this word here is forebears. 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 Four bears. Good, good. All right, and 
Uh, this is reading. Instead of reading, re yeah, reading. reading. Yeah. There you go. Nice job. Thank you very much. Thanks. All right. Next up, uh, Andrew. Yes. Uh, Andrew, please, uh, please continue reading from pause down to um, windshield first. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Pause. Pause. The sun had chased the morning mist away, but the grass, but the grass still glistened from the previous night's rain as Bob's eye rolled the L2 out of the hangar. He watched me. He watched me fill the ship with ace octane. After I checked the oil and drained the, the fuel bowl, he walked up to me, oblivious to the bright red ship. Nice day for flying, yeah? He commented, looking all around the, co the cobalt blue heavens and filling his lungs with the clean cold air. Then he said, I thought we were going to, we were, I thought we were going for a ride. I cut my eyes at him and in narrow slits. We are, Paul. Keep your socks on. I want to clean the windshield first. Okay, nice job. Let's go to this word here. That is pal. Okay, uh, we are, pal. pal. Okay, instead of okay. Paul. Okay, instead pal. of Paul, like the name Paul, this is pal. This means pal. friend. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It, it it means like a dude, homie, yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah. It's it's it was like saying dude, but back in the like the fifties, mm -hmm. okay, forties, fifties, and sixties. Okay, they would say pal. All right. Uh, let's go to the word cobalt. Okay, stress Co at the beginning of the word cobalt. Cobalt. There you good. There there you go. Good. Uh, let's go to the word glistened right here. Okay, glisten. The T is silent. Glistened. Glistened. Glistened from the previous night. There you go. Nice. Excellent job. Okay, thank, thank you, you, Andrew. Thank you. Okay, let's continue with Dennis. All right, Dennis, uh, please continue reading from We Are. And then down to uh, uh, brake pedals, please. Okay. Okay, one set, chat. Okay. Uh, we are, he exclaimed. Oh, goody, when? There's your airplane. I squirted a stream of plastic sheet on the windshield and began polishing. You're looking at it, I advised. The young veteran turned his head, looking carefully at through all four points on the compass. Where? He quipped. I don't see an airplane. I dragged the lader to its place beside the gas pump and tossed the pod or a rag at it. In you go, old body, I said, pointing to the rear seat. Just climb in there and jam your heels against the brake pedals. Okay, nice job. Uh, uh, I only have two words I want to check out. Okay, first up is ladder. Instead of later, ladder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ladder. Okay, and this is the ladder we climb up. Okay, instead of the double T ladder, all right, which would be late in or the older or things like that. That would be ladder as well. Okay, um, and airplane. You had said aeroplane, aero, aeroplane. This is air, airplane. Aeroplane. Airplane. Good, just like that. Nice job. Thank you, Dennis. Okay. Very good. Let's go to John. Hi, teacher. Okay, John, let me have you uh, read um, a good chunk of this paragraph here. I'll have you read down to understood, please. So, Bob eyed the old uh, reconnaissance. Okay, and down to understood, please. That word is reconnaissance. Okay, teacher. Bob... Uh uh, Bob H. the old reconnaissance plane superiorly. The the at me. A new world was in his mind. 
he four years of leading wrenches in the Air Force had thrown him anything. It was that enlisted men were too doomed to fly. He looked into the ship, paying particular attention to the basic instrument planet. The war wheels he had worked on had been crammed for all full of instrument deals and switch radios, tiger buttons, knobs and levers, most of which none of us grunts had understood. Okay, good. Um, all right, let's uh, let's practice uh, some of these words here. So we've got um, switches, switches, radios, trigger buttons, knobs, and levers. Okay, <laughs> try that one more time. It is switches, radios, trigger buttons, knobs, and levers. Switches, ra switches, radios, trigger buttons, knobs, and levers. Okay, good. So let's uh, let's try this one right here in the middle. Okay, that is trigger, trigger buttons. Trigger, trigger buttons. Trigger buttons. Okay, there you go. Yeah, instead of buttons, it's buttons. Okay. Buttons. okay. Uh, let's go to the word crammed. What? Crammed. Cram. 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 Okay, yeah, and we want to end right on that D sound. Instead of crammed, it is crammed. Cram. Excellent. Okay, now this word here, instead of being doom, okay, the word is dumb. Dumb. Good. Okay. Too dumb to fly. Try that. Too dumb to fly. Too dumb to fly. Excellent. Okay, this word here is taught. 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 Excellent. Yeah, so the A U G. GH makes an ah sound only. The GH is silent. Okay. okay uh, let's go to uh, this word here. Suspiciously. 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 Okay. One more time. Nice and slow. Suspiciously. 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 All right. Good. One last time. Okay, this suspiciously, is. suspiciously, suspiciously. Good, good, much better. This is definitely a difficult word. Okay, yeah. you're doing good. You're doing good. Uh, last word here is "eyed." Okay, instead of "aid," this is "eyed." Eyed. Okay, excellent. Nice job. Thank you. Okay. Uh, good. Let's go to Julissa. All right, Julissa, please uh, continue reading where it says "whereas." Down to uh, he asked, please. Whereas the L two panel was simplicity itself, having only an alcohol canvas an airspeed indicator, an altimeter and a tachometer along with an oil pressure and oil temperature gauge. Bob pulled his head out of the ship, turned to me and said matter-of-factly, okay, very clever. Now, where's the rest of the stuff? Under the seat, back inside the tail, he pantomimed by leaning over the back seat, peering into the shallow, bare baggage compartment. He looked at me and with widened his eyes. Do you think somebody stole it? He asked. Okay, very good. Uh, let's check out a few words here. First up is widened. Instead of widened, widened. <laughs> Wide, widened. Okay, why dinned. Okay, so treat this E right here as there you go, widened. Okay, widened. nice. Excellent. Okay, let's go to the word uh, clever. Instead of cleaver, this is cle clever. Clever. Very good. Okay, um, this last word right here is gauge. 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 Excellent. And this word here is 
oil, oil. Oil. Good. One more time. Oil. Oil. Very good. Nice job. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, let's go to Michael. Yeah. All right, Michael, uh, please read this next uh, paragraph here. Okay, I gave him a look uh, down to the end. Mm -hmm. um, one second, because I do not see um, your screen. Could you put uh, the link in the chat? Um, yeah, let me put the link there. Uh, I found the link. I okay, scrolled the chat. Okay, so, what yeah, we're down. That? We're down a ways, though. It it starts off where it says, "I gave him a look." Okay. So, I gave I gave him a look. He devoutly crossed himself, then climbed into the rear seat, buckled the webbed uh, military belt about his midsection, and pulled back on the stick. Very nice, he said. Tilting his head to stare first out one window, then the hour, other. Moving the stick in coordination with his head, uh, time to land, he announced. Holding his uh, wrist watch one, one uh, inch away from his left eye, he eased the stick forward made a show of uh, removing his imaginary flying helmet, then tossing it out to me. He began unbuckling the belt. I made a show of shooting the invisible helmet into the trash barrel, basketball style. Come on now, uh, I cheated. it. Uh, it's as safe as walking downtown, he said. All right, just till there. Okay. All right, very good. Uh, let's check out some words. First up is chided instead of chitted, chided. Chided. Excellent. Okay, let's go to the word eased instead of eased, eased. Eased. Good. Okay, uh, this word here is tilting, if I can find tilting. Uh, right here. Til, tilting. Tilting. Excellent. All right. And we have uh, pulled instead of pooled. It is pull, pulled. Pulled. All right. Excellent. And our last word here, this ED ending, is webbed instead of webbed, webbed. Webbed. Very good. Very good. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's go to Odku. Okay. Odku, please continue reading here uh, where it says, he said. Uh, let me have you finish off those two lines and read down to Rudder nicely, please. He said, don't you get newspapers down here? Have you tried walking downtown lately? After swimming the drop, I climbed, climbed, into the front seat. In just a few minutes, we are arrived at the end of runway 305. The runway had a slight uphill slope and with two soles upward took longer than usual to lift off. Bob nervous. All right, continue reading. Okay, Bob ner nervousness evaporated as we leveled off 1,500 feet above bus bus level. I showed him how to make level turns and slot it to one side so that he could see the altimeter. His hand has heavy and the stick at first, but in the surprisingly short time, he was coordinating the 
ailerons and rather nicely. Okay, excellent. Um, let's go to uh, the word surprisingly. Surprisingly. Okay, surprisingly. Surpri surprisingly. All right, excellent. Okay, let's take a look here at Bob's nervousness evaporated. Bob's nervousness nervousness evaporated. Okay, so this would only be nervousness. Okay, so Bob's good. Bob's nervousness evaporated. Try that one more time. Bob's nervousness nervousnesses evaporated. Okay, um, you're saying nervousnesses. We only need the the ending nervousness. 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 Good. Good. Nervousness. Good. Yeah. And then this word right here. This word is prop. Prop. Very prop. good. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Teacher. Okay. Let's go to Ruth. Ruth, let me have you uh, continue reading. You'll be our last reader. Uh, starting at twisting around, finish off the paragraph, read this next one, and then about half of this third one here. Um, uh, it'll almost be all of it. So, so down to so starting at twisting around, down to cloud which dimmed the sun considerably. Twisting yeah. around, That's I right. saw a fast look at his face to see yeah. it. To see it filled with the rapture of first flight. Bobby stayed at Basel Field for three or four days, helping out at the gas pit and in the office, cracking jobs with my customers and attracting young females who I can boost. Around him like proverbial bees around proverbial honey. One morning he announced he was ready to depart for home, Washington D.C., and that that he was fully recovered from the long journey from Okinawa. A front had been forecast to pass through the state and high serious winds. Drifting several several miles above, had given way to serious stratus. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Uh, yeah, that's right, serious stratus. Serious stratus. A thicker cloud which dimmed the sun considerably. Okay, uh, nice job. Let's uh, let's check out uh, a few words here. Um, let's try cirrus wisps. Cirrus wisps. Cirrus wisps. Good, nice job. Okay, uh, let's go to that. Okay, practicing the th sound. Th, that, that. 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 Okay, yes, excellent. I and need more practice. <laughs> That. Oh, you're doing you're doing fine. You're doing fine. Okay. Uh, this last word is the word buzzed. Instead of buzzed, boozed, it um, is buzzed. Sorry, teacher. Buzzed. Okay. Boozed. The the word boozed would mean that you drank too much alcohol. Um, All right. Buzzed is the sound that is like this. Um, okay. That is a buzz. buzzing sound. Okay, teacher. All right. Buzzed. Excellent. Okay, very good. All right, you guys, thank you very much for uh, for coming to class this hour. Um, uh, my next class is for uh, beginning and intermediate students. We'll be practicing uh, uh, the similar similar things, uh, practicing reading and pronunciation. Okay. All right, guys, thank you very much. We'll see ya.